Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're going to be in the shed again today due to the weather being rubbish the last few weeks. So what we're going to be doing is making a gaff out of a curtain pole. This one's eight foot long, so it's going to give us an extra three foot reach on our other gaff. So this will be mainly for the cliff marks. So it just avoids us going near the water too much if there's a swell. And we'll be safer and so will the fish. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. What I've got here, I've got 8 mil stainless steel bar and that we're going to create our hook out of, very similar to this one. This is a boat gaff hook, this is a lot bigger than what we need. Our, our bend will be a little bit smaller, but very similar principle. So I'm going to cut that down to about a, a 12 inch or 300 millimeters and then we'll start creating our hook. If you're cutting any sort of metal, make sure you've got the appropriate safety gear, especially glasses. I don't wear gloves or anything, but it's always wise too. You'll get splinters in your hands, all sorts. What we're doing now, we're gonna be heating up the metal on the old Bunsen burner. Uh, get the good old gloves on for safety. Lovely job. And what we're doing is we're going to create the loop in which we're going to gaff the congas and we'll do the straight edge after. As you keep heating up the metal, it will gradually get a lot stronger as it slowly heat uh, as it slowly cools down. So what I'm doing is just creating the bend to start with. And then get in the axe, and then we're going to prise it round. Definitely not an easy job this, but once it's heated up, it's surprising how much easier it is to bend. And there you go, that's a perfect bend there, nice and short, so we can get it in a big conger's mouth. And all I'm going to do now is heat up the end and start bending that. When you're creating your 90 degree on the end and this will go inside the pole so it, this will be detachable if you break it or break the pole then you can take one off so what you're doing is creating an, a 90 degree the other way of the hook so it's always better to get it bent with the hammer first makes it a lot easier There you go. So you've got a 90 degree, the other opposite end of the hook, and that will shorten it down and get that inside the pole. So we'll move on to that now and we'll show you how to prep it. Just giving you guys a quick glimpse of the hook. I've trimmed it down now so it's not thicker than the actual pole that we're using. And I'll create the spike afterwards with a file. I'll cut that down a bit shorter as well. So I want to be able to get this inside the fish's mouth. So we're going to move on to the end of the pole now. What I'm doing for the pole, so I've got my hook here and I'm just going to line it up where I want the spike to be. It will be sticking out this way, but I'm just marking it like this for now. And just centerize it a little bit and marking it down. So that's roughly where our hole will be. And up here, I'm going to create a groove for this to sit into because this is not going to be fixed is the reason for this so it won't twist out so I'm going to get all this drilled out and I'll show you the next step what we've got here is a drill bit the same size as the diameter of the of the hook so that will sit in there nice and snug 
and this I'm going to drill straight down and make it a little bit just a, just a wee bit bigger because I want a little bit of movement in there so I can get it in and out quite easily So there you go, that's the hole drilled out, as you can see, it fits in there nice and snug and when we put the wraps around there, that gaff isn't going anywhere. How I like to keep the hook in place, got a nice piece of nylon here and all I do is starting on the side somewhere is you lay as much as you're going to wrap down to on the actual pole, starting at the top and then you're twisting your way around until you meet up with the other side bring that up a little bit I hope you can see this in the camera right and then I'm going over that first that first thread and all it is is a matter of following it round all the way down to about halfway where you're going to be using this piece of string so I'm going to get down to there now and then I'll show you the next step. There we go, we're quite a ways down now. And what we're doing with this piece of rope, we are laying it under that wrap, keeping it tight, just like so. And you're keeping that inside. And then you wrap round, and this is how you finish your binding. always best to aim your rope sort of up towards the uh, the other wraps and that will keep it all nice and tight to the end and what you're doing is putting this tag end in that loop just like so keeping it as tight as you can it's actually really difficult to do while you're filming and now for the tricky part is your pollen both ends up just like so there you go you got a small tag end and it pulls it inside and that is no way of coming out and this is your first tag so once you've them all nice and smooth neatened it up a little bit that is one solid hook right there and it's detachable so there's no glue involved it's a lovely job so what we're going to do now since that's finished I'm going to get on to sharpening my point and then we'll make some handles for the congas to get hooked on. I'm going to shorten this a little bit and then I'm going to create a nice circle and point it out with the file after. But first of all, we're going to trim down with the uh, grinder, get your spectacles on. I've got our shades with me today, but safety glasses, always important. lovely size point on that there that will hook them nicely that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the cooker back out and I'm gonna heat this up till it's glowing red and then I'm gonna let it cool naturally I think they call it case hardening where you bring the metal up to where it's glowing hot and let it cool down naturally and that makes the actual metal get a lot harder you can see it's sort of a metallic color and I'll leave that now with the point on and this will go solid it'll be a lot stronger than what it was originally and then this thing will last an absolute lifetime <laughs> today's episode guys we got the two handles bound on 
the same as the top we've got a little sponge there as a bit of safety so no one ends up in hospital gets jabbed with it and this gives an extra three feet on the conger marks that we fish so we won't have to go too close to the water's edge because it will become dangerous especially it's, it's unpredictable sometimes you get a little rogue wave and you can end up going for a swim so this I reckon will make a big difference in our conga fishing a lot more safer and hopefully we can land a few more fish without snapping off so stay tuned i hope you enjoyed this one guys if you like my channel like and subscribe it's smash fishing Woo!